Hey YouTube, it's your beekeeper here. What are we doing today? Today we're working on a 2004 Dodge Durango with the 4.7 liter V8 Magnum engine with 170, you just told me the mileage and now I forgot, 172,000 miles on it. What are we doing? We're doing the valve stem seals. Uh, the reason why I'm making this video, this is probably not going to be a very exciting video, but it might be a how-to to somebody that's, well, there's a lot of stuff in here, um, that has this problem. This Durango here, when you come to a stop sign, doesn't happen every time you give it gas after it idles for a second and it puffs out a little bit of blue smoke out the tailpipe. It also is consuming oil. Yes, it's a high mileage engine. We're just trying to get a little more life out of it. There's not a lot of information on the old YouTube TV about how to do these 4-7 stem seals. So we're going to start pulling her apart. I'll bring you along for the ride, see if there's anything entirely interesting. Um, maybe we can show you and maybe we all can learn together. Huh, Skip? Yep. Yep. All right. So we're going to create access to these valve covers. We might have to move some, we'll see. We've never done this before, and we haven't even watched a video on it because there's like no videos on this. So, hey buddy, you might need this. Um, there's no really videos on it. So we're gonna try to figure it out. We both have done stem seals on other vehicles, valve stem seals. So we're hoping that our knowledge that rolls around inside our funky little heads is gonna prove to be effective here. So I'll bring you back. So right now what we're doing is creating access. Skippy's pulling plugs. We pulled off the upper part of the air filter system. We had to move, this is a AC line, probably a low pressure return AC line. Forgive me if I don't use the proper nomenclature. I'm far from a wrench. Um, I just pulled the master cylinder, slid it forward. I'm gonna go inside on that firewall, the inside of the firewall, unbolt this brake booster because the brake booster appears to be in the way of us getting this valve cover off. So hopefully this doesn't have to come too far this way, but we'll see. <clears throat> Should probably pop this check valve out, but just wanted to let you know where we're at. Skippy's making notes, labeling, uh, injectors, or uh, what are those things? Coils. Coils. Oh, those are the actual coils. Yeah, that's right. You, you and your fancy, yeah. fancy engines. I'm used to working on 1970 VW bugs. That's where we're at. We'll bring you back here in a few. At least eight. Good grief. Four bolts. Got from the passenger side, the back side of the firewall, I think those were 15s. Um, and we were able to get this out. A little bit of manipulation on this. I don't think we've damaged anything. Uh, we were just careful. Skip was pulling kind of back and over, and I took this booster out. And with this, just hanging on the steel lines here, we should be okay. I think that'll give us enough access to get this. Skip's over here, we're pulling, he's pulling. All the spark plugs are out, right? No. No? That's it, I quit. Alrighty, we got one valve cover off on the passenger side. It's a bit tricky. With the AC lines are in the way, the oil fill spout is in the way, trying to remove as little as possible. Um, but this one came off. This side over here, uh, I've got all the bolts loose on this valve cover. Nothing exciting, really. You pull off the fuel injection plugs They've got the little red safety things. One of them did break. Slide the thing back, and then you can squeeze the tab and pull that off. Pull the ground lead just to give us some more room. Uh, We're gonna do a little bit of cleaning. There is some sludge in this. Remember, there's almost 180,000 miles on this engine. Uh, the timing chains are a little slack, probably a little more slack than they need to be, but we're not, we're not this is not a rebuild. This is just get it to stop smoking. Um, when you come off a stoplight or a stop sign. As always, you want to keep track of which rocker goes to which um, which spring, right? Which lobe of the cam, because they all wear into themselves. So we're doing these one at a time. We're going to keep track of it. I do have a flexible line around here somewhere. I've got a rubber hose that you screw into the cylinder. We'll hook it up to about 30 pounds of air pressure. That'll hold the valves closed while we pull the springs off and replace the seals. Just so you understand what we're doing, because I'm probably not going to explain that 10 times because I don't want to be that guy. How do we do? We got one. We got one. So we got like 
a little bleed bleed over by one of the valves tired engine so these are a special service tool as well for removing those keepers pump on it a couple times that inside sleeve is magnetic <clears throat> so these keepers are, are conical they need to go in in the same direction they came out see how that top lip is fatter the bottom one is thinner so they they go together if you're not familiar with how these work and make a, and go around the stem but the fat part is on top. Oh, you're just getting ahead of yourself there. Okay, now we've got the we got the thing. There's another. I'll show you the part number on that tool. See how easy that was, buddy. So this is made by a company called Schley Products Corp. Corporation part number eight two three double lot made in the USA. It's got this pretty cool thing right here. It grips and grabs the stem seal, right? This sits over it and you just grab it like that and it pulls it straight out. And the new ones are there. Let me get you something to towel. Let me, let me get a towel. Here's a fun fact. Look at the size of that hole. That's like porn star size. And this is soccer mom size. Can, can I do that? Is that PG-13? Look at the difference in the stem seals and tell me that we weren't getting oil yeah, blow-by in that this one. This is porn video. Before. Yeah, before. And after. after. Before prison. This is him after prison. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of dab of oil on there. I don't know if that's necessary, but it just seems it that if you... Makes it slide on better. Yeah, if you lube the hole up first, it makes it easier to slip that stem through it. And it should just set in place. He's got a socket. We did put some paper towels down there, the shop towels, just in case one oh. of those, oh, that went on nice. Um, just in case one of the keepers, we were to lose it. All right, looks like he's got a 13 or something. Looks like a spark plug socket. Tappy tap tap. Different tone. Yeah, you hear that tone change, so we know it's pressed all the way in. Spare parts? No, the spark plug thing grabbed the, oh. grabbed a little thing. rubber. I'm that, pull that rubber out. Yeah, watch how you're spilling oil with your Q-tip, buddy. Yeah, that's good. Making a mess. All right, and then we'll just oh, reassemble. Spill the oil. Yeah, it's true. Guarantee we're gonna make a mess in my driveway. So, so this is the the spring compressor that ended up working. It's a KD Tool number two four zero zero. That allowed us to get enough compression on that spring to be able to fit the keepers in there. So one down, 15 to go. That's gonna be a good day. <laughs> All right, so both stem seals are back in. The keepers are back in. That was kind of a gooey mess, so I didn't quite get a chance to film it. It's just, it's clustery, it's difficult. It's no different than, it's not specialty at all to this engine. So how you put the rockers back in, it looks like you just get them in position and then Skippy's using a screwdriver and just kind of push it back in hydraulic lifters and then the spring and then it just the tension holds everything in place one done 14 more stem seals to do seven more cylinders to do all right starting in on the number two cylinder i think that's an exhaust valve you get some compression on the spring it loosens everything up and the rocker arm comes right out easy peasy okay if i end up doing this as an entire video <laughs> it's 8 p.m. right now. Uh, we're about 12 hours into this job. I think we had an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes. I had to run a quick errand. But we pretty much worked on it from 7.30 this morning until 8.15 p.m. Uh, and we just put the camera down and started working. Everything's back running. And I am super happy now with new valve stem seals. Um, should be in good shape. All right, thanks for watching. Gotta go, gotta run. See you.